Um, for me, it was just putting all the, the heart and, and everything that he's built for himself, the way that on his start days, the way that he comes in, like, you know, we're going out to play, play in the backyard or something. So just, just try to keep that together um, and uh, just embrace that we're all wearing it for him. Um, honestly, I went kind of numb in, in, in that moment. I, I know I said that um, a, a lot of us were talking about, you know, why are we here right now? Why, what, what's the main purpose of this? What, what is, how do we get through this together? So I, I was just trying to help, um, you know, ease all that and, and tell them that you know we're here for for Jose and, and Jose's fans and and everyone to come together. We're the last hope and the last heart for him, and that we need to come together as hard as it's going to be to to show and express that because that's all these people have at the moment. Uh, yeah, man, that's most definitely. Yeah the most difficult game I've ever played in. It's, I just kept looking over at the little ribbon board and kept seeing his name and just kept saying, like, how is he not here? How, is, how does he not show up today? And every time I see his number or his name, I just keep hearing his voice. And honestly, selfishly, I want him to say, I got all y'all, I'm back. Like, I just keep waiting on that moment. And I keep telling these guys that. And it's, it's crazy, it ain't gonna happen. Just the whole step up, you're wearing Jose's helmet. Yeah, uh, it was a helmet my size with his number on it. You know, I just wanted to, he loved hitting. He took it serious. To, to, to do that step above his right and take a pitch. And then take a pitch, it was for him, because he loved to hit just like he loved to pitch. So I thought that was just my way of showing him that, dude, I love you and I miss you, and I'm always gonna miss you. Point, at what point after you made contact with your kid Brian? I don't know. To be honest, I don't, I don't know. What was that trip around the bases like? It took forever. It seemed like it took forever. And it's like I was just trying to get back to my teammates as fast as possible, and I couldn't get them. Do you remember the physical sensation when you were physically feeling it? Just wondering why he wasn't there to stand on the top step cheering for it. Do you think you pretty much all of Jose's rituals and touching the mound and, and everything? How important was that to express that? For me, it was very important because that's how flamboyant he was. That's how fun he was. So I just wanted to just do be like him. You know, a lot of us wanted to be like him on a daily. And that was just my way of doing it. I don't know about these guys. Yeah, we were just, any way to celebrate his life and celebrate the way he did things, we tried to do tonight. And um, going back to uh, everyone wearing his jersey, the some, I mean, I, I'd catch a flash of like JB or Kohler walking by and I'd be like, there, you know, there he is or or something like that. So it's like you said, we're waiting for, for that, uh, you know, reality TV show to say that we all got us, but, um, you know, that's where we're at. No, I mean, pure, pure, pure emotion. There's no, no other way it could be scripted. There's no other way that, um, you know, unless, unless you're in a movie writing, rewriting everything that just happened tonight is, uh, in fact, I, I couldn't believe it. Just put my hands up and, and, uh, that's all. Celebrate. Come give him, a, give him a hug when he gets in, and and try to hold it together for my at bat. The most important, oh, the most important thing to me was doing his little ritual. That was it. After that, uh, I kind of just blacked out. Yeah. That's how. That's that's literally the feeling 
that we had. Like I said, when, before I talked, I just let it go. I don't even know if I was stuttering. I don't know if I was saying the right stuff. It's just all pure emotion, and um, that's that's what it showed. I wasn't worried about how good we were going to play tonight because I know that we weren't al going to allow this game to, to get past us like this. And even though we were seeing we were hitting balls from underwater pretty much, uh, our eyes full of water, they're, they're, the numbers were still there. And uh, we found a way to do it and all together. It's all fluid, man. All emotion. Nothing. None of this was. We're gonna prepare this before the game, except except the music that we chose. That's all. Everything else was, as on the fly. I know, like as a professional athlete, we're supposed to be like above, kinda. But like Prado said, sitting here yesterday, we're not robots. We we human. We got feelings, and we acted on our feelings today. That, that was it. We, on pure feelings and pure hurt and sorrow for our brother, you know, like, I know we say that we together every day, but we, we really are together every single day. You see these guys more than your family. And when reality hits you with a guy younger than you, with so much promise and so much enthusiasm and so much passion and something like this happens to him, it makes you look in the mirror. Because at times we can think we're invincible because we play professional baseball. And I, I already didn't take the game for granted. I'm definitely not going to take it for granted now. Uh, Juice, Juice texted me last night with a picture, like, you like this shirt? And I was like, yeah. And he ended up making it for me, and he had it in my locker before uh, I got to the stadium. So it was only right for me to put it on. You know, I know I wasn't supposed to wear it in batting practice, but that's honestly that's a fine I'm willing to take. Uh, yeah, all of it was was the music he loved, um, and our walkout music was uh, either his walkout music or something that he loved to listen to or a song that we thought, um, you know, could remember him by. I definitely ain't never hugged the other team before, but like I told you, we, we may act and move like robots at times, but we definitely human. And it's bigger than baseball at the at the moment. Like we all know, we're gonna go play hard every day because that's the instincts and the drive that we have. That's why we're here. But when the human effect comes comes in, I mean, we just acting human.